Hello and welcome to Remote Sensing 201 and this is Elite Joe Special. Starting off this month, we are going to be looking at how to mosaic uh, Landsat imagery. We've done just maybe when you have two lines since, but now we want to do three, four, five land scenes that you need to mosaic. And most of the times when you try this, uh, it gives you some as i said but you know we just have to try what we can do so today we'll be using elders imaging to perform these tax and uh you know the elders imaging as far as from 2011 is good because they have similar interface as this one but i am using elders imaging 2022 to perform this tax so once you turn on your or you launch your elders imaging uh, the next place to go to is to go to raster so well on raster you see a mosaic directly under the raster for this version so you click on the drop down button and then you will see mosaic pro so you click on it so it's like another software inside the elder so it will launch out like this so once it is done like this, you see this arrow that pointed, this means you should import the image. So I'll click on it and I will navigate to the folder containing uh, my data. So I'm going to enter this data set and this layer stack. So I have one, two, three, four, five. This is, uh, the study area I'm trying to work on covers these five Landsat scenes. So I need to mosaic it to me in order to be able to come out with my extent. So I'll just highlight all of them and click OK. Now they are in here. So what you need to do is that under this visible, you're going to click on all of this. I'm going to click on all of this. And you're going to click on this. So it's going to display Rasta. So so it will display all of them. All right. So it's going to display all of them. So we're one, two, three, four, five. All right. So this has been displayed. These are the Landsat scenes we have. Now what you need to do next is you see this. Uh, this uh, very thing that is looking like it automatically generates sim lines for intersection now how do you want the whole thing to intersect now if we we'll try out all of them first and see so if we click on this weighted sim line we click on ok you see what it's going to say so you now make a choice based on which one and uh, what i are talking about is that you see these edges uh -huh. now look at it now this edge okay let me remove the the line that is on it give me a minute and this all right this so you see what i'm saying like this kind of line it's going like haphazard or something that's what this thing will be doing so the overlap let's try this most nada nada everybody what it has, that is this one you see is going to create I get in what I'm saying. So you try all of them to see which one fits into the very image you're using. So on the geometric, see this is also geometric one. So let's go to overlap and try it. You see what this one is doing. This one is just making sense at all. So let's try the optimal same line and see. So basically, sometimes this uh, this uh, optimal uh, option used to delay. So I don't know. Maybe we'll just go ahead and process it so that we could see only the final output. All right. So if I see if I click, it's not delaying. But
So if that's the case, once it gives us chance, we'll go ahead and process it so that we just see the final result, all right? Okay, I think it has given us the result, all right? But basically, look at, let me remove this so that you see what, okay. Now, do you see? See, even though it's haphazard, but everywhere is covered. Now, I think for me, this is the best choice for this. Uh, since uh, the area I'm using has a coverage to somewhere around here. All right. So because of these ages, I think this choice is better. So once we have this, we could go to process, either this process and run, or we come here and do the same things. We can process it from here or here. So, but let's go under process, then run mosaic. So here it's just going to ask you for output. So let's insert 20 to 11. Let me add one since I already have one there already. Okay, so, so it's going to start processing. I'll be back when the process finishes. All right, so it's at 5%. So I'll be back when the process finishes. So I'm back. I guess it's done. So we see that it's showing 100%. So let's close this. And let's leave this one on and then go check out how our mosaic is. All right, so. So, to bring it in, you just go to File. And you will see it. That's one way. Or second way is to right-click within any of this. Uh, if you just right-click and then you go to Raster Layer. And and then you import it. So where did we keep it? Test, it is said, and this. Oh my God, my battery. So I may not be able to preview this for you, but so I guess this is it. And thank you for watching this video. Let me hurry up to stop it before my battery finish. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.